Welcome to today's outfit for Beyond Wonderland. I'm not going this year in 2024, uh, 2024, 2014, <laughs> 2024. Uh, so these are pieces that have been mismatched from different outfits and costumes. I had this badass, looked like a, tra uh, a sailor outfit that is white and then I have black or maybe light blue I don't know but it had like the flap like on the sailors you know flapjack uh, uh, uniforms so it had that and then like it was a bodysuit uh, that snapped at the crotch um, and it was just like a diamond pattern and it came with this bow tie and I didn't use a bow tie last year and it came with some uh, bunny tail, but it, this is a combination of all three of them that was sent with it. So th these are the only two things that I have left over from that costume that I lost uh, last year at EDC. The one day I went, I had it in my hydro pack and it fell out, or somebody pulled it out, whatever the case may be. Um, so these are the outfits that did not make the cut for uh, EDC Las Vegas because I think the fitting for Beyond Wonderland is a much better costume choice for that festival, and I'm going to save up for it for next year. Um, so anyways, this is just one of the outfits that I have pieced together. I ordered this, and I wore this briefly last year for EDC with that diamond bodysuit over the top of a bright pink bikini. Uh, so... I have, I've had this and it's been sitting in my closet waiting for an occasion to wear it again. I do not have it to use for EDC this year, so I'm going to use this again because, like I said, I feel like it's more Alice in Wonderland theme. And, uh, I think it looks rather cute as a bunny outfit. I think it's a cute bunny outfit. Uh... So it's almost like a Tweedledee kind of like strap thing, uh, white rabbit, uh, I got the white gloves, uh, these, this headband I got from my, my party friends, uh, that I do parties with at their house, uh, while their son is sleeping in bed. And we've gone out on occasion, uh, I floated the river with her and, and I introduced her to float in the river in the area. Uh, but now they're moving down to Southern Oregon, so sucks <laughs> there goes my party friends but now it's just a further drive but you know what I, I love driving so I'm okay with driving down there to go visit them uh, as per schedules permit uh, and so uh, last year no it wasn't last year for my birthday it was the trip that I got COVID and brought COVID back with me in October of 20 20 or 2021, one of the two. I, uh, I went to Area 15, uh, a part of Resorts World, uh, outside, uh, outside of Vegas, not on the Strip. And they do this really cool, like, scavenger hunt, immersive art experience, like, thing. I can't really describe what it is. Uh, I've been there twice now, and I absolutely love it. And I never did do, like, all the scavenger hunt part of it. I, I rushed through each time. I just enjoyed the art. <laughs> I enjoyed just messing with everything. It was fun. Uh, so, I got this wig inside the um, shop because I have all kinds of cool like costume-like outfits and uh, stuff. That's where I got that blue and black wig that I showed in the other video that got cut off because my phone died. And then this wig. I got this bright, bright white wig. Uh, so I think this is going to be perfect for my eat my Beyond Wonderland at the uh, Gorge and uh, Washington Oregon border. Uh, I think this is great. So, but wait, there's more. Oh, I can't pause it with my glove on. Hi again. So. Here's another outfit that did not make my EDC Las Vegas trip this time. Uh, I fully believe I need to make these outfits for uh, Beyond Wonderland in the Gorge. I I need to I need to go. Uh, these outfits are perfect for it. 
Uh, these are supposed to be bunny ears, but I bent them down to make them cat ears. Um, I think this helps is perfect. <laughs> Poor Cheshire cat. I got the tail. It's big and fluffy. And not only that, I can strip this off. I have to have the belt because it makes the dress look good. Uh, otherwise, it looks just really baggy and big on me. But it looks nice and fun because of my petticoat underneath. But yes, there's the tail. So if I strip this dress off. I have a bikini. And there's the petticoat that goes along with my cattail. So I have to have a belt to be able to attach it. So here's the second layer of my outfit for uh, Young Wonderland. This is uh, when I get too hot in the dress. I can now be this kind of cat. Meow, meow. And then if I really get hot, I can take this off. And I still have the bikini bottoms. So it's all about the layers when you go to these festivals. Um, and it's taken me years to piece all of this together. Like, I didn't know there was a matching bikini. So I bought this dress two years ago. And I didn't buy it from the same people. But what came together next was this. This petticoat. I wear it underneath almost all of my um, like uh, retro dresses because it gives it that nice poof. Uh, I've tried to get other petticoats in the past and they haven't worked. So that's my word of advice is, uh, you know, just you gotta keep trying. Um, so here's the tail. Uh, this has been through hell. I've almost gotten rid of it a couple times, but I'm like, you know what, no. I may want to dress up something similar again. So originally I only had these pieces and then I had this piece. I wore those together when I did a uh, an Alice in Wonderland uh, scavenger hunt in downtown Portland, Oregon. Uh, it was all done virtually on the phone and I met up with some, uh, some friends uh, that I just recently made earlier in the year and we all did the scavenger hunt downtown. Uh, I was Cheshire Cat. <laughs> uh, however, I didn't end, end up using this at all. I don't like being half naked on these uh, videos. I'm not trying to uh, bring in the wrong crowd, to say the least. <sighs> so, taking all this off. It's itchy. My head's itchy. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, itchy. I cannot wear that stuff for so long. So that only has one setting. I was going to say I could be like an evil bunny and uh, wear that and then wear this wig with that white outfit that I had for the bunny. And then I can wear the black flashing uh, bunny ears. But now they're my cat ears. They're not going back to bunny. I already have one pair of bunny ears. And so the other ones are light up. What could possibly be even better than that? Uh, so, redressing. Um, one last time, just in case y'all didn't catch the other video. This is my other outfit that did not make the cut for EDC Las Vegas. I always forget which way this goes on. The zipper's in the front. I'm just kind of curious to see how much this petticoat works with this uh, outfit, too. <laughs> I want to see how much it poofs it out and makes it either either better or, you know, 
uh, not much difference. We'll see. Take that off. <laughs> this is the most yellow we'll ever see me get dressed in front of the camera. But I really like this outfit. I'm really bummed that you know, I'm not really wearing it, but I'm not really. Oh yeah, I like the way it flares out the outfit. It makes me feel like even better. So here it is far away. And in the back. Get closer in the back so you can see that heart and my wingspan. Right there. And so this I see to be um, almost like the transformation between uh, uh, the uh, butterfly, you know, the caterpillar, you know, turns into the butterfly as he's flying away in the story of the Disney's Alice in Wonderland, at least. So those are the cuts that did not make it to EDC Las Vegas. Uh, these are my fits for Beyond Wonderland. I'm already ahead of the game with my uh, costumes for that. And these are all uh, pretty dang comfortable. Uh, this, is, this in particular is. Uh, I, I am kind of half tempted to take it with me because it's comfy and I like it. Uh, I don't know, I, I haven't quite rolled it out all the way. I just, I, I'm trying to be minimal, and I, I already have so many costumes to wear at EDC. Like, I, I don't even know if I'll get a chance to wear all of them, even. So, um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, but I do know that I am going to pack this stuff away. I'm going to put this back on for a brief minute while I'm on video. I just feel exposed. <laughs> Alright. We have family dinner, like I said, for my family. I'm actually going to wear this dress out for dinner tonight. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> kind of a nice summery dress. Before I pack it away for good for a while until I go to Beyond Wonderland. Uh, I really do like this dress a lot. Uh, um, so, yep. Yeah. I got I gotta try and do my hair and do that in my hair. Thank you so much for getting ready right with me, checking out my uh, haul that I'm gonna wear for Beyond Wonderland when I decide to uh, get tickets for it next year. Uh, I wish my hair was thicker here. Like, look at all these little bob spots. My hair likes to just do its own thing. Thanks for letting me be your mirror. I'm so bald. I have to like keep changing my part. I got the comb over going guys. I got the comb over. <laughs> uh, women lose hair too, especially with autoimmune disease. It is what it is. I can't wait to get my hair cut short again. I'm cutting and chopping this stuff off after my vacation. This hair is going to be gone. I don't think I'm full on shaving my head, but I'm shaving half of it at least. Or the underneath. Or, you know, <laughs> the underneath is the only place where I got my thickness. <laughs> thickness with a quickness. My hair still needs to be redone. <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, Oop, I got that in my hair. <sighs> Getting ready with me. Try to have my cord attached to me. I can't really go that many places. Set you in here, maybe, you know. Have the support underneath you. Yeah, will this work? No, it's not the same height. How about this? <sighs> Ugh. And then I need something in front of it so I don't tip over. Like, what a fucking mess. I'm 
sweating already. Ugh. I don't want to go out in this heat. I really don't. I just want to stay home and get the rest of this stuff done that I started showing off in the other video. Like I want to work on my baby. Instead, I'm going all through the things that I'm going to go drop off at my storage unit later today. After we get back from dinner. Oh. Oh, that's just not going to work out at all. I can't set you down there. You have to go back where you belong. On this table. Don't look at my cleavage. As I pointed out, don't look at my cleavage, please. I, uh, gotta get these wigs back put away. I really adore my, my Cheshire Cat dress. I really like it a lot. I'm sweating my boobies off. <laughs> I don't have that much to begin with, but... <laughs> <laughs> eh, anything over a handful is a waste anyway, right? I'm not really. I, I really think motorboats are pretty awesome. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. They're pretty fantastic. <laughs> Giving and receiving. <laughs> boobies are great, okay? That's about the only thing I love on women is boobies. You can have the rest of this. I don't like this. This stuff's gross to me. I don't, I don't, I respect it. I like mine, but I don't really like it either. Call it a love-hate relationship, I guess. So, there's all my stuff. I got my headbands, my, my wig caps. My headband, I can't break my cat and rabbit ears. I have to kind of fold them down together so they don't get squished. I'm bent the wrong way and break. And of course my, uh, my bunny tails. <laughs> Come on, bunny tail. There we go. Those should go in there. Oh, I don't want to lose the gloves or the bow tie. Those need to just go in with the accessory bag. Accessories bag. Ziplocs make the best accessory bags. If y'all didn't know. Okay. Well, I did talk about those in the other video. So last but not least outfit I'm not trying on because it is getting close to dinner time. I still kind of want to do a little bit of touch up on my face and hair before I go. So this is my very first bodysuit I bought because I was trying to do a spoof on a Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I got the red shiny. Hers is more vinyl looking honestly than shiny red but I tell you what, this thing looks amazing on me. This red bodysuit looks amazing. <clears throat> so I'm thinking this is a great start to a Queen of Hearts costume. I, I mean, this is just basic bare bones bodysuit. Uh, I could end up cutting it and making it like a shorter bodysuit instead of legs. I could uh, add to this. I haven't quite figured out a plan, but I'm gonna learn how to sew and work with material because I just wanna save a little bit of money and making things myself, but I've never ever been good at sewing or cos, you know, I'm good at cosplay, but I'm not good at sewing and making my own outfits. As with my pashmina, I still haven't finished and I need to get that done. Uh, here's an update on it as well. All right, now the next dilemma is, 
<laughs> my friend uh, that I made online at Candy Crafters Messenger Group, she actually sent me the name of the materials that she gave me. So if I ever want to order the materials again, I know which ones to get. So we got this little bit of material here. This is what I was looking for forever inside the store. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> um, so, I'm going to vacuum all these pills up. Uh, there's a lot of pills, so, fabric pills, fabric. Alright, so there's that. So I got another one of those. I'm going to shake all the pills off if I have to. They are very soft and I love the feel of this material. Uh, I uh, don't know how much I'm going to like working with it yet, but we will see. Then I got, here's my old card I was looking for, this dark blue. So I almost could actually line the back of a scarf with this, but there's this dark blue. So, so far I got this blue, green, like dark blue, almost black. Then she gave me this long strip. This is really pretty too. Um, this one's really pretty as well. I really do like this one. Then the color is called Jeans. The first one, blue I showed you was electric blue and the dark one is navy. And then I got this one. Originally I only picked out this one and the uh, light green one because I think these will good, go great with my uh, gummy bear outfit, which I already showed. Uh, last video. Now I just have to post these before I leave and go out to dinner, which we leave in the next half hour. So I really got to get a uh, move on and get my FJ out of the garage. I need to vacuum it before I do that. And then I've got this material. This is what I started with, and this is a lot. Like, I have so much of this. I could seriously make a small little blanket out of it. Uh, this is about all the material I started with as well for uh, my pashmina. But this is also very soft and I really like the pattern of this. So what I'm thinking is using these three or throw in one of the other blues because I'm going to take my pashmina. There goes the damn sequin sticky. Screw you, sequins. That's why I glued you upside down. Alright, so. Got this. In back of it. So I really like that material. I really like this because it really matches. Here's a sequin. Because this really matches all the colors of my gummy bears that I'm making the totem out of and that I'm making for that gummy bear mesh bikini and outfit. So what I'm thinking is is lining one side with the green so it's going to look like this on this side and then it's going to look like this on the other side. I'm going to fold the material over and sew it down because I think that is going to look great setting off these like yellowish greens, neon greens and it's going to go with my like neon green and yellow uh, alien outfit uh, and then I want to do another, the opposite side of the green, I want to use this blue on it. Because I think that would look good. But then upon looking at this, I'm like, well, there's not really that many of this color of blue on here. So, 
she was willing to throw one of the other colors. So what do you guys think? Should I go with the electric blue on the edge with the neon green on the other opposite side, corresponding side? Should I do this side? Or should I do this blue because it's more electric and matches this cut, you know, these other blues right below it? I, I think that matches a little bit better, honestly. And then, uh, then I got this dark blue one, if I were to use that instead of uh, the other one, I feel like this would match really well too. And this, this dark navy blue goes with one of my outfits. <laughs> uh, so it would be combining like my dark blue outfit with the gold underneath and using this if I get cold to wrap around me. I'm going to have this that matches on one edge. So I can have that maybe that edge showing like on a you know, more visible part of my outfit, you know, wrapping it around me. Uh, but I, you know, I think I will. I think I will use this electric blue and that neon green in order to get the pashmina the way I would like it with, uh, you know, and the other possibility is do this blue, neon green, and then uh, the electric blue, so electric blue, this and the neon green, and then one of the white. Uh, so then I can have like maybe, uh, the electric blue and then the navy blue or the light blue. Maybe I could do all three blues and not even use the white, and then I can use the white for a different project later on down the road because I have a lot of it. Um, but that also depends on how much of this I get out of it. And I'm going to have to piece together a length long enough for the whole edge of one side. So that could be a, an issue. I just haven't done all the measurements yet. I haven't pinned it together yet to see what it looks like, to see what I want to do. Because I'm trying to keep all of my my outfit colors in mind because that's why I went with this like multicolor because it, it all of these kind of go with any outfit uh, and I wanted to make it worthwhile I want to use this more than once <laughs> uh, so that's my other project when I get home like I don't have enough to do <sighs> it's been just hard enough to keep up on my doctor appointments on my medications making sure I have all my supplies for eating showering, camping, rock hounding, being at the music festival, camping, uh, the time that I'm going to spend in my trailer outside my friend's house gaming in my trailer with the, her Wi-Fi. <laughs> kind of going to be laying in my trailer out in the front of her house or in her driveway. Uh, I'm going to be gaming from it. <laughs> when I need some time and space to myself, I'm going to go out to my trailer and just relax, plug into her electricity. <laughs> And uh, get some well, glamping going on. I used to eat because uh, it gets so hot in her house. It's so hot. Um, if I have to, I'll throw them like a hundred bucks for any kind of extra power bill for uh, let me use their power and plug into their house while I'm in Vegas. And then I can uh, unhook and then uh, drive about Vegas and take. I can drive Amy around for once. Uh, my, my beastie. Uh, I know it's another long video. I just wanted to uh, give the uh, heads up on my progress on my uh, haul that I have for Beyond Wonderland. I have to get ready for my parents' dinner. It's their true anniversary today. I didn't get them a card. I just uh, so much to go on. So much going on. I don't got time. <laughs> I'll try and make it up to them when I get back or you know I'm in between running around storage unit in here and uh, we'll see uh, it's just a lot of stuff to do uh, I'm getting hungry I think I need to take an afternoon Adderall at least a half a one I can't take a full strength one at like almost 5 p.m. there's no way where am I out of my battery life
13%. I can unplug for a minute. Oh, this thing's not going to charge very fast with me on it. Oh, man. I am getting hungry. I'm going to take that half that I found earlier in my bottle this morning on my way to my Cairo. Uh, I'm going to get back onto my ice packs too. I need to get my car out of the garage. I need to vacuum it real fast before I do that. Got 15 minutes. 20, but 15 because I need to do a couple other things before I leave. So, I gotta get a move on, guys. I'm gonna um, do the short descriptions and maybe go back and edit the descriptions later. I gotta get these posted before I leave the house. Otherwise, I'm not getting posted for hours. So, I gotta um, uh, unplug here. I'm gonna plug back in and do this posting. Yeah, Vegas or bust here pretty soon. Almost ready, EBC. I'm, I'm ready. I'm almost there. Everybody keep smiling. Live your best life. Try to pace yourself. You see how long it's taken me. It's taken me a long time to get all prepared and ready to go as a disabled lady in her 40s. Take it from me. Don't try to rush around because you'll only uh, stumble and hurt yourself for further. <clears throat> Keep smiling. Life is beautiful. Life is short. You never have much time you've got left. Tell those that you love them before you can't. Life is too short. But life is beautiful. I'm going to live to on 100. And I'm going to keep inspiring you all to keep going no matter what. This is exhausting. <laughs> Chronic fatigue syndrome. EDS. POTS. <laughs> Medication side effects. <sighs> Intolerance to heat. <laughs> I already sunblocked myself. I need to sunblock my face still. I hate having lotions and clogging up my pores in my face. That's not good. But I'm going to spend this evening trying to relax the best I can. Uh, and get the rest of that stuff vacuumed. I love you all. Keep at it. You can live your best life too. You just have to work hard for it. And do one day at a time. Love you all. Peace out.